Shabbat Shalom, Temple Beth Hillel. I'm Rabbi Eli Steinman here with this week's Two Minutes of Torah. This week we read Parshat Tzav. It's the second Torah portion of the book of Leviticus, the book of Vayikra. But this Shabbat in our calendar is also a special Shabbat. The Shabbat immediately before Passover is known as Shabbat Hagadol. It is known for two reasons. First, that we read a special Haftarah from the book of Malachi which talks about repentance and return, some of the themes that we also find in Passover. But it is also called Shabbat Hagadol, the Great Sabbath, because it was the one springtime of the year where the rabbi in many synagogues gives a great and grand sermon, the length perhaps of a High Holy Day sermon. And if you, if you look back at your calendar, you'll note that the High Holy Days were almost exactly six months ago. On this Shabbat, throughout synagogues in the world, rabbis have been preparing for weeks, just as we've been preparing for Passover, to give these divrei Torah, to interpret the holiday of Passover, and to make meaning for our congregations. On this Shabbat at Temple Beth Hillel, I don't exactly know what Rabbi Sarah has planned, but I can promise that our Shabbat service tonight, she will offer opportunity to learn and reflect, and she will teach you something new. As well, we have our Shabbat text study tomorrow morning, Saturday morning at 9 o'clock a.m. We'll be studying Maimonides and some of the laws of leavened and unleavened bread, should that tickle your fancy in your Passover preparation. Most of all, we wish you a beautiful and happy Shabbat, one of peace for every person in the world, one of wholeness, one of healing. Shabbat Shalom. Mm-hmm.